Hey guys, it's Logan with Enduro Engineering and today we are going to show you the handlebar risers that we offer for the Beta model like I have here next to me. They will also fit the KTM and Husqvarna models as well. It's the same procedure as the Sherco models, though you'll have a different part number for those. Okay, so I've got a package of our 23-002 bar riser kit. Let's go ahead and open it up. And inside the kit, we've got our different height bar risers. We've got a seven millimeter Allen wrench. We've got a bolt kit. Of course, we got a sticker. And then we have the written instructions. This will go step by step, show you how to install it, but we'll go ahead and show you now. All right, as you can see, there's three different size bar risers. You got five millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 15 millimeter. You can stack some of these up and go double, and some models will even allow you to stack triple. So refer to your list on the written instructions to show you which models can do that. Also, you've got six different size bolts provided in our kit. It's going to be important to use the correct size bolts with whatever rise you go with. That list is also in your written instructions. We've got the bottom half of the stock clamp here, and when we put that stock bolt through it, you can see there's a good amount of threads. That's a good connection with the triple clamps. So when you take the bar riser, in this case the 10 millimeter, you're going to want to use the 40 mil bolt. That way we have the same amount of threads connected with the triple clamps. All right, now we're going to go over to our motorcycle. First, I got to hit up the toolbox, grab my handy 10 millimeter T-handle wrench. You can use a socket and a ratchet as well. In this case, I'm going to use my T-handle. I'm going to take off the four bolts of the handlebar clamp. Then I can pull my handlebars off. Okay, now that I've got all four handlebar clamp bolts out, I'm going to set these off to the side because I'm going to reuse them. This beta has a zip tie holding on the crossbar pad. We're going to have to cut that. That way we can drape the handlebars forward. So I just grabbed a pair of side cutters, just going to snip that, the way I can pull the handlebar pad right off, top clamp comes with it, then I can just drape the handlebars forward, get those out of the way. Okay, so take an 8 millimeter Allen wrench, you're going to take out the two bolts holding on the clamp for the handlebars. Okay, for this we've decided that we're going to raise the handlebars 10 millimeters. We're still going to use the center hole for the handlebars. So in these risers there's a little notch that you're going to want to line up with another hole. Just take one for each side, line it up. That keeps the riser from spinning. Then you're going to take your handlebar clamp again. Line that right up on top. For the 10 mil, it says to use the 40 mil bolts. You're going to want to put a little bit of thread lock around these before inserting them. Just get those started before tightening them up. So these have a 7 millimeter head on them. So you take your 7 millimeter Allen and go ahead and tighten them both down evenly. All right, so go ahead and snug these down to factory spec. You'll find the torque settings in your owner's manual. Then what you can do is go ahead and reinsert your handlebars. Get those lined up. Take your top clamp. Get that lined up and then reuse the handlebar clamp bolts that you took out earlier in the process. Okay, using your 10 millimeter T-handle again, just go ahead and tighten all these bolts back down. Again, using the factory specs listed in your owner's manual. Our handlebars were raised 10 millimeters. Uh, it's going to be a more comfortable ride for this particular rider, being with the handlebars a little bit taller. You will have spare parts, uh, whether you used all the risers or not. Um, if you use all the risers, obviously you won't have any left over. If you didn't use all the risers, you set those in a safe place, and then you'll have spare bolts as well. 
So don't be alarmed by the spare parts. It's just depending on which rise you went with. So give us a call at 517-393-2421 or visit us at enduroeng.com. Get yourself set today.